Hey everybody, Imagine Toy Show here with another review and show, of course. Today we have for you the new Jurassic World Imaginex Dilophosaurus. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. If I am, put a comment down below saying you're saying it wrong. So pretty much we're going to show you what this is. Uh, first, let's look at the back of the packaging. Um, watch out for the Venom. Press to launch Venom and open neck frill, which is this piece of which we'll show you in a bit. And then the other stuff to collect. And then here is... The bio, I'm going to leave that there so you guys can pause it and read it. Moving on. I'm open this and then we'll get back to it. So here it is out of the packaging. First off, I think we should start off with the actual dinosaur itself. So then we can use these accessories after. So let's go ahead. First off, let's see what we can do. What we can move. The tail, just the end piece here moves left and right. The feet forward and back the arms up and down and then all this stuff moves because of when we press the button what I really like about this figure is its eye no matter where you move it it looks like it's always looking at you let me see if I can get it to focus which is pretty cool now both of them do it so I think that looks really cool I like how they did that so let's do his action thing Pretty much we have a big Imaginex button there that we're going to press and all that's going to move. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, which I think looks pretty cool. When you press it, it's also supposed to launch these slime missiles that it has, that they come with, which I think look pretty cool. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. So here it is. And it's like that on both sides. Usually this is the missiles that usually come with Imaginex figures. Um, I love how they did it into a slime type of thing. That way it makes more sense when you use this, which we'll use it in a bit. So pretty much, you pop it in like that. And you hit the guy. Let's see if I can hit him. My aiming, as you see in my other videos, is really bad. Oh, first try. So that was good. So you can kind of sense that it has a good distance. Let's see. Yep. It has a good distance, which is... Really nice for these Imaginex figures. I like how they do that. So you have two missiles. Now let's see if you can use a regular missile on this. You should be able to. It actually will not launch a regular missile. Let's see. It is too short. If you can see this piece right here has to like attach to something back here. In order for it to get the spring loaded. And then you'll be able to press the button. But because it's too short, it won't reach it. So it won't actually activate the spring load. So you have to keep these missiles. And if you lose these, I mean, you can't replace them with the other ones because they're too short. So let's move on with the figure itself. And then we'll talk about this at the end. It is, he has a mustache. The Jurassic World dinosaur on his shoulder. I'm trying to zoom in here. Okay. And then he kind of has like a, I want to say, like a bullet vest type of thing. And then he has the regular articulation for Imagine Next Figure. And then this is the fun part. You actually supposed you can put this like that. I've noticed though, in the packaging and this, in the packaging you can tell which is the figure, but in this one you can't really tell because the mold around the face is actually different than the mold in the picture they use so it's kind of hard to tell which figures under the slime which is pretty unfortunate but that is what we get so i wanted to see if we can put that slime on other figures let's see if we could do slime on batman and you can kind of force it but you can feel the plastic kind of bend on the bottom so it's an maybe on batman Let's try it on Swamp Thing because green with green. And he is way too big. As you can see, the bottom piece won't even go in. So that's a no on Swamp Thing. Uh, let's try the Black Ranger. Okay. It fits on the Black Ranger. Nice. Let's see what else. We have Supergirl. Um, 
yeah, works on Supergirl. And our last figure we're going to try is Terra from the Teen Titans. I've not, I wanted to try it because the Teen Titans Imagine X wave is different than the regular wave. As you can see, her head's too big, so it won't fit. Everything else will. So maybe you can have it like that, that she's on the floor. But if you want to have it standing up, it won't work. So that's pretty much it. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to send you off with using our dinosaur to launch all these figures off. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, late. Let's see how many I can. I want to get two with this missile. What? I'm telling you, I have a bad. I have a really bad aim with this. Really bad aim. Hopefully you guys have a better luck with me than this. Let's see. Let's try again. Oh! 3 1. I think I'm getting better. Can I get the black ranger? I missed it. <laughs>